What's up, everybody? It's B with Pray for Snotto Detailing, and I am so pumped that you're here with me in the garage today because we have a 2013 Honda Odyssey in polished metal metallic. It is gonna be a sick detail, mainly because the interior, which we are going to do a full interior detailing, is in pretty rough shape. There's a ton of debris on the carpets. The floor mats are all carpets. So we gotta make sure to get them all vacuumed and of course extracted. The leather seats definitely need a little bit of love. They are not cracked, but they need to be cleaned. You can see in all of the little creases, there's just a little bit of dirtiness and we are going to restore them to the beauty that they truly deserve. And on the exterior, we are going to do a full detail as well and it is covered in road grime, which is really common in a state that uses salt on the roads. So we're going to get that all cleaned off. We're gonna get the paint clean, protected. It's gonna be so sick and I am so excited. So let's just get into it. For the wash, because we are going to do paint protection, we are going to use Clean Slate from Chemical Guys. Gonna kick off the Odyssey detail by cleaning the wheels and tires. We need our cleaner. Now we're ready. Gotta use our Chemical Guys Citrus Sticky Wheel Cleaner. We are going to rinse everything off on the wheel and tire, and we're going to apply the cleaner. While we're rinsing the wheel and tire, of course, we're going to rinse the wheel well, and then we're gonna let it dwell, and then use our awesome detailing brushes to get the tire all cleaned up, and then the wheel. Definitely in these spokes, I have a brush that I'm going to use behind the spokes, which helps. There seems to be a lot of brake dust on this one. It's going to take a little bit of work, maybe a couple of passes. We'll give this first tire a test run and see how it turns out. With the wheels and tires done, we now need to rinse and then of course wash the Odyssey. We're gonna do the washing today with Clean Slate from Chemical Guys. The reason that we use a stripping shampoo like Clean Slate is because we want to remove any potential paint protection that the Odyssey has on it because we are going to apply our own paint protection and we want to make sure that it doesn't conflict with what is already on there. So let's get to rinsing and then we will get to washing with the two bucket method. And I think it's gonna turn out really sick. I'm actually excited to clay bar this thing too because there is a ton of contaminants hanging out in the clear coat. Before we do the rinsing, I have a theory. I'm gonna try something out. Always, yeah, pretty much always, for as long as I have detailed cars, I have started from the top and pressure washed off and rinsed to the bottom. I'm gonna try something else, and the reason I had this thought is because for the audience, I wanted you guys to see, because the transitions, or transitions, the transformation from dirty to clean when you're pressure washing sometimes just doesn't show that show up that good on film. So what I wanna try is starting from the bottom and going to the top. My theory is that, one, it's gonna look better on film because all that nastiness won't be wet from coming to the top, from the top down. Two, if I rinse off the dirt on the bottom and as I keep moving up the side of the vehicle, is all the new dirt, the dirt from the, above the bottom, going to just rinse and go off the vehicle? I mean, it's worth a test, right? I mean, let's try it out and see. I'll do both and then we'll assess after we're done. You remember that on minivans or vans, sliding doors like this, the rail area always gets super dirty, so we make sure to pressure wash it out. And then I usually get a paper towel or something, soak up the water, clean it out, if it's really, really dirty or really, really greasy, I'll get APC and spray it in there. These ones don't seem that bad. I imagine it's just dust. We'll see. Totally just dust. I'm fairly indifferent rinsing from the bottom to the top or the top to the bottom. Uh, I guess I'll see when I look at the footage. If it looks cooler, I'm gonna go from bottom to top. 
so that y'all can see how cool it actually is to rinse some of these vehicles, especially during winter because they get so much road grime on them. Let's, uh, let's go foam cannoning. bucket hand washing method in a nutshell. In one bucket I have the clean slate and then of course I have a wash mitt, microfiber, and then a detailing brush. In the other bucket I just have hot soft water. I will wash a panel with the washing items. I will come back over to the rinse bucket and then rinse those off making sure that all of the dirt that gets trapped in the towel, the towel, the wash mitt, gets rinsed off into the rinse bucket so that I don't carry or swirl around any of that road grime or whatever could be hiding on the paint into the paint further and cause damage in the clear coat, which is not cool. Now that the hand washing is done, we need to apply one more coat of foam to lift any other potential debris off of the paint in the clear coat. And then we are going to rinse, chemical decontamination, final rinse, dry with the air can. chemically decontaminate, we are going to use Adam's Iron Remover. Simple application, spray, let dwell, and then rinse off with the pressure washer. It is really vital when you are doing an iron removing step or a chemical decontamination, it is very vital that you rinse everything off because you do not want this sitting or dwelling on, <clears throat> sorry, squeak there, dwelling on the clear coat paint for too long because it is a pretty harsh thing and we don't want it to cause any damage. protection phase and I'm super excited because it's new product day and I really need to figure out like a dance or something cool for every time I get a new product but I'm really a horrible dancer so if I can find a sick beat or something I'll, you know I'll do a jig every time I unveil a new product maybe I'll throw some cool lights or something I don't know we'll figure out something neat but for today we're not going to do that today we're going to talk about what product we are going to use for paint protection and it is the advanced formula of the Adams Drafton Ceramic Spray. Y'all know that I am a huge fan of this Adams Graphene, whether it's the full ceramic kit or this spray. Every single detail I do and have done for quite a while, I have used the OG formula, the normal formula. They have, as of a couple weeks ago, come out with a new formula, and the only difference between the OG formula and the advanced formula is the saturation, the percentage of active ingredient in or the active chemical, I don't know, active chemical, whatever. This is better. The OG formula lasted one year. This can last up to two years. Now, obviously, I have my product tested it for two years because this barely showed up, but I'm super pumped to try it on this Odyssey and pumped to monitor it over the next little while to see if it is that much better. But I believe it because Adam's polishes rocks and the advanced formula in the full ceramic kit was absolutely incredible. So let's give this one a try. We're gonna do our typical procedure for paint protection where we use a microfiber pad from Chemical Guys, an applicating pad. We are going to use one of my Chemical Guys microfiber towels to level and wipe off. And we gotta install this spray bottle in. Oh, 
doesn't stink. It actually smells like graphene, so it kind of smells like home. As you can see, totally have my work cut out for me, but this interior is going to be so sick. I didn't think I was gonna qualify this as a disaster detail, but we'll see if I reconsider once I remove all of the personal items from the vehicle. While I get to removing the seats and the personal items, what I want you to go down and do is detail that like button so you can detail along with me. One of the sicker things when I get to detail so many different brands and types of cars is I get to cast these small little judgments because I don't actually design them, but I can critique what has been designed. So one thing that was sick about the Honda Odyssey rear seats is when you pulled them back to stow them away in the trunk, they actually pulled back in a way that you could detail the, the seat bottom and the seat back from the outside of the vehicle, which was really nice not to have to climb in. But the seats, the middle captain's chairs, they were really hard to remove. You had to have the front seats all the way forward, which is annoying when you've already unhooked the battery. Regardless, you have to have the front seats all the way forward and then they tip forward to pull out. Whereas the Toyota Sienna, for example, has just a lever that you activate and then you pull the seats right out. So. Honda Odyssey wins on the rear seat detailing, it loses on the middle captain's chairs or bench removal. Win-loss. Sick. gonna show up on camera but right here is definitely something nasty and it's a bonus of taking out the seats I don't do it on every vehicle that I detail because it is something extra that I ask every customer and if they want it done I definitely do it obviously and this customer opted for front seat removal and this is definitely why I offer it to all my customers because that is a really hard stain to get out if you don't take out the front seats. Nigh impossible, mainly because the trim piece would cover it. We have to clean and restore all the leather seats, but first I think we're going to get the carpets done. That way they can be drying while we work on the leather seats. Because shop vacs in general do not have an agitator, one technique for removing hair, dog, or human, or cat, or whatevs out of the carpet fibers is to use a lily brush. It is a piece of plastic with a rubber lining all the way around the outside. You comb the carpet fibers and it pulls up all the hair and it works extremely well. This front floor mat is another case where I had to use the lily brush because of the amount of hair that was just chilling embedded in the carpet fibers.
as I started to dust off the trim pieces, I actually became concerned because I couldn't tell if the leather on the gear selector, the steering wheel, and a few other places was actually deteriorated to the point where it was beyond saving, or if it was just hanging out waiting to be cleaned, because I've talked about it before, controls oftentimes get a white film over them. Uh, you'll have to stick around until I get to the actual trim cleaning and restoration, but yeah, it, uh, it wasn't as awesome as I thought it was going to be. I detailed a Chrysler Aspen a little while back and made a super amazing video about it, by the way. And in that, I highlighted how epic their anchor points are for the seats. They simply have a saddle that comes up and it acts as an anchor point, whereas Expeditions and apparently the Hodyssey has these valleys with a saddle. So everything that comes from the seats falls right down in there, gets captured, and is extremely hard to detail. It is really frustrating. Obviously, challenge accepted. I detailed it and it turned out amazing at the end, but I was pumped when I did the Aspen because I realized somebody really thought about how they were gonna design these. Somebody thought, hey, kids are gonna be back here and kids make messes, but not in the Hodyssey, not in the Expeditions, unfortunately. So I pulled the rear trunk insert, the rear trunk insert, duh, trunk insert out. There's some stains on there, but check out that. This is after the vacuuming. It looks like a bleach stain or something that's taken the color completely out of the carpet, but we'll clean it, see what happens. I don't have high hopes. It looks pretty permanent. And remember that when we clean carpets, we do it in a few steps. The first step, obviously, is vacuuming. Once we are done vacuuming, we spray the Chemical Guys Citrus Carpet Cleaner on the carpet. We agitate it with a DeWalt drill and a drip brush. And then we extract with the Sandia extractor. And every couple of minutes, we have to pour out the contents of the Sandia extractor into the bucket. And that is when we gauge on B's ever epic scale of dirty carpets with one being super duper clean and it looks like soap and 10 being straight mud or sludge or sometimes I call it chocolate milk. We have already seen the floor mats and they were definitely above a five. We'll say they were six, six and a half. Let's move on to the interior of the van and we will see what the interior is. I'm betting it's going to be close to that six, six and a half, maybe more. It'll be fun to find out. Here 
here we're looking at what we are aiming for with the carpet cleaning. You can see this side, the 60 split of this rear seat has been restored. It looks really good, a lot extracted out, and it has a nice natural out of the factory color. This is just tainted brown just a little bit. You can see some stains remaining. Let's extract this side and see if it looks like this side. I bet it will. Post extraction review, I think it is turning out solid. You can really tell that it's turning out solid because when you look up further in the vehicle to this area, you can tell it is a brown hue, gray, brown, gray, brown, goal, starting point, gray, brown, gray, brown. As we went along extracting this, you could really see the color come back into the, well, technically you can see the color leave because it's the brown color that we were trying to get rid of. And now it is back to what it should be, which is super sick. We got to move on to everything else now. Overall, after doing a couple more extractions, I have decided to rate the Honda Odyssey at a six. There was a couple extremely dirty spots that helped to raise the average, but overall it wasn't as in rough of shape as I was thinking it was gonna be. So booyah for that. Something that I think would be sick if you are not subscribed to this channel is if you went down and subscribed to this channel. I think it would be so sick. So yeah, subscribe to this channel. carpet's cleaned, it is time to clean all the plastics. To do the cleaning step, we are going to use 3D APC or all-purpose cleaner, steam cleaner, detailing brush, and a microfiber towel to wipe off. Favorite part of the detail, definitely this center console. It may sound silly to be excited about a specific part about any detail or cleaning at all, but eh, it's me. I love detailing and this center console was so much fun and it turned out super epic. <laughs> Even though cars as they age get the white film over the controls, the gear selector on the right hand side of the screen right here was not covered in film, it was actually broken. The leather had deteriorated and had been worn away, which is not unexpected in an older vehicle, but it was kind of a bummer that I couldn't get it back to brand new status. As we know with every vent that I have detailed, these entrance are always dirty. Entry? Entryways? 
egress? Ah, they're dirty. Let's clean it. Time to protect all the plastic. We are going to do that using APC. We are going to apply it with a microfiber applicating pad, detailing brush, level and wipe off with a microfiber towel. For the glass, we are going to use invisible glass, microfiber towel, and of course, one of Spartacus's roller skates. I am super stoked to restore the leather on these seats. So since we have them lined up, we can do the one on the left, see how it turns out in comparison to the one on the right, because they are in the same state of dirty. Let's do it by using the Chemical Guys Leather Cleaner and Leather Protectant. Oh, I'm so excited. This leather turned out so awesome. I had to be a little bit careful because in spots the leather was so thin that it was split and there were little like nicks in it. So I, I couldn't hit it with a steam cleaner for example, but it still turned out so sick. So the seat on the left is done. The seat on the right needs to be done. And it looks like it made a good difference. Just keep rolling. I'm gonna seal the windshield with Griot's Garage Glass Seal. I know you're sitting there thinking to yourself, could be do it again? And yes, he totally could. He totally did. It turned out so sick. This Honda Odyssey was a blast of detail. And of course, I want to give a shout out to the customer. Thank you, Epic customer, for bringing your van to me. It was a ton of fun to detail, and I hope that you are pumped with the results. Odyssey detail was so sick and I was pumped to get it clean for the customer because everybody loves a clean car. And without further ado, let's get into B's top three. Number three is the vacuuming and overall carpet cleaning in the Odyssey. There was a ton of debris on the carpet, so it was really fun to vacuum up. The extractions weren't the worst I've ever done, but it was incredibly fun to extract it nonetheless. A 
Number two is on the driver's side in the very back row, the cup holder and that whole trim section where the passengers sit. It was a ton of fun to clean this part, mainly because of the color of the trim. It was, just had a haze over top of it and some general staining which happens with every vehicle over time, especially with kids because kids make things dirty. But the detailing of this went incredibly well, especially after I applied the Car Pro Pearl. It just looks so good and it was a ton of fun to do. Number one in my absolute favorite part of this Honda Odyssey detail is the center console in between the driver and passenger seat. There was a ton of debris on it. There were stains of liquid of some type running down the side and of course getting into the carpet, but the whole console was just a blast to clean. It turned out incredible at the end, which is the goal here at Pray for Snow Auto Detailing. I am so pumped that you hung out with me during this detail. It was a blast to do and I hope that you enjoyed watching it. If you are not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe, it would be so sick. And those who are, thank you. There's a button right up here. Over here, there is a link to another one of my epic videos. Click on that, watch that, enjoy it. Like it, of course, and love it. And I hope that you have a fantastic day. We'll see you on the next one.